Disassembling the cab is not a particularly difficult thing. There's just some little tricks on getting the parts out that will um, help you make this job a little bit easier. Now this particular cab has had uh, DCC installed in it previously, so there were wires installed here coming up to the uh, rear light. So I've added just some, dummied up some copper tabs in here so you get a little idea of what it would look like as it comes from Kato originally. Now the first step is removing the floor which is held in here with just this little pin on each side of the uh, of the floor. I just take a pair of needle nose and just tip it out so that this little pin comes free from the hole in the side windows. The side windows are the key to this whole snap together assembly. It's really very ingeniously designed. Now to get the front and rear windows and the side windows out the key is the fact that the side windows slide down into their frame just a little pressure on the bottom of the tab that you used to take this out of the shell and they pop out of the frame and then you can remove the whole assembly intact then you can just reach in here and pull the rear window out being careful not to grab the actual window surface and the front window comes out just as well a rear light housing came out with uh, by itself if it didn't you can just reach in here with a pair of needle nose and pull it out. Now this one doesn't have a board in it or anything else and just those little dummy copper strips. But that gives you an idea of what it looks like and how to take it out.